Welcome guys. So this is a wrecked Moto G5 Plus. This is not the first time changing the screen. In fact, I've changed the screen two times. In my opinion it doesn't deserve to be scrapped yet. I think it's got one more screen into it. Don't buy the inexpensive screens because those are crap. This is the replacement part and as you can see it is the same size. If you do this the first time on your phone you will have to use additional heat to get the adhesive going. In my case there are just some strips in since I already did this two times so I don't have to do this I just have to find a spot and pull a little bit up and then slide this in. Okay, in my case you can open it like that. Be aware that there are cables you could rip off. Take the phone like that, do like this. And then you can fold it in half. Now you can take a mark or something and hold it in place like this. There are many screws that need to be removed. Be aware that in my case there are some screws missing because I did this often. Okay, so I will uh, unscrew the screws. It is quite good to remember where the screws went. There are some smaller screws that don't fit into the larger holes, so you can use that if you don't. I usually YOLO it, so no big problems there. If you think you got all screws out, you can try to pry this out. I usually use uh, my fingers and some force. It usually pulls out quite well. And also this can be like a catapult and launch your screws somewhere you don't want them to be. Okay, so this is not a phone. You can unclip those. Make sure not to rip this part because it is very sensitive. This screen is out. Uh, if you do this like me, make sure not to step the battery. It is a very sensitive component. You can remove the dirt from the fingerprint reader. Tap it a little bit to get all the crap out. This is especially necessary if you did this sometime before so the phone isn't that sealed anymore. Before you glue the phone, uh, you can try the display to see if it even works. Okay, just hold it in place and not put too much tension on it. You can see the phone starts. You can test it if it touches right. Not perfect. But for my use case it works. So let's power down the phone and keep on working. As you can see this phone has had some abuse because there is a great dent in the frame. Okay so let's glue it. I'm going to take these stickers. Okay so the easiest way to do it is to take scissors, cut it and then lay it on. The better you do this now, the better the phone will be sealed against the elements. Okay, I'm going to connect the screen. Let's put this plastic back on. Fold it in like that. I'm going to put in all the screws. So as you can see I've lost a screw, but not this time, I, maybe when I did it the first time I lost it, not a huge deal. I'm now going to put on some more adhesive and then I'm going to put the phone back into completion. As you can see I'm not a professional at this level. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, I'm going to do some double layering. Take it quite slowly and put it in. Uh, make sure if your phone has bends to not crack the screen while doing it. So it makes some noises. Fingerprint reader has dislocated, which is a bit bad, but for my use case it will be fine. The screen works again. I got a usable phone again. So I hope it helped someone.